Thank you for visiting the Archangel Michael on air show. I'm your host, Michael. Today we're going to talk about freedom of speech. And Governor Greg Abbott from Texas just signed into law a law against social media platforms like Facebook and other social media platforms that they can no longer ban you for the things that you write. That the governor believes that you have freedom of speech to speak on any topic of your liking, whether you agree with it or not, to express it. What this law does is it opens the door to lawsuits against social media platforms against the citizens of Texas. Which, by the way, should have been done by Trump when he was in office. I know many of you believe in Trump and love Trump. But Trump was in office for four years. Yes, he got our economy up and going. Yes, there are things he did that I agree with. But the things that I don't agree with is that he didn't put on blast all the corruption, all the evil, the cabal, all the things going on. He kept silent on it. And he's also pushing the injections as well. So I'm sorry for all you Trump supporters, but Trump's not the guy. If we were to have a president, we need somebody like Abbott to run for president. He's a governor who cares about the people and cares about freedom of speech and is not afraid to go against the status quo. And there's another one in mind, which is DeSantis out of Florida. I'm, a, I'm sure if Abbott and DeSantis ran together, they would have a very good chance in winning the presidency. With that being said, let's look at the video where he signs into law the protection for the citizens of freedom of speech in the state of Texas. Freedom of speech is under attack in Texas. There is a dangerous movement by some social media companies to silence conservative ideas and values. This is wrong, and we will not allow it in Texas. Today, I'm about to sign a law that fights back against big tech political censorship. It prevents social media companies from banning users based upon the user's political viewpoints. It allows Texans who are wrongfully deplatformed or restricted to be able to file a lawsuit to get back onto that social media site. It also allows the Texas Attorney General to file suit on behalf of anybody who was wrongfully restricted from access to that social media site. In Texas, we will always fight for your freedom of speech. I want to express my gratitude to Senator Brian Hughes, as well as Representative Briscoe Kane, and every member of the Texas legislature, including those with us here today, which includes Senator Buckingham, Senator Perry, and Senator Paxton. is now a law that conservative viewpoints in Texas cannot be banned on social media. Well, I'm happy to announce with all the videos I have posted, this is one of the better ones that I really truly enjoy. To see an individual stand up against the status quo that is controlling our country and bringing it down to its knees where once we were respected and now we are laughed at because of the president that we have leading our nation. Greg Abbott is a prime example of an elected official that is doing 
what he was elected to do, to serve the people and not serve himself. I've been keeping my eye on Abbott and he's done a lot of good things for the state of Texas, as has DeSantis in Florida. And is one of the reasons why Joe Pell and I have been guided to move to Texas. We will be able to continue the word of Jesus in the state of Texas. We will be able to continue to preach the truth without having to worry that the FBI is going to knock on our door and classify us as terrorists because we believe in the word of Jesus Christ. That day is already happening in other parts of the world. And a lot of things that I've put on about Jesus and things that Joe Pell has talked about and many of you have talked about have been taken down. You've been suspended. You've been blocked. And for what? Because you're telling the truth and it goes against the plans of Satan. These are the things that we have to face each and every day, especially when you walk in the ways of Jesus Christ. And this is why Jesus gives us the resources and he answers our prayers and he gives us blessings to continue forward. And this is why Joe Pell and I have been guided to go to Texas and hopefully it'll be a place we can truly now call home, at least before we go to our real home. With that being said, we all need to stick together because we are going through rough times and things are going to get a lot worse. To those who have not accepted the mark of the beast, but yet you have hesitated to accept Jesus Christ in your life, if you think the things of the world that is happening right now is bad, trust me, hell is a lot worse. And in hell, you'll be begging to know Jesus, but then it will be too late. The only thing I can ask you is to give Jesus a chance. See what he has to offer. What do you have to lose? You've already read so many other books like Tom Clancy, Steven Spielberg, Stephen King. Why don't you give Jesus a chance? Why don't you read what he has to say? And if you like it, keep, keep continuing to read. And if you don't, put it down. Jesus doesn't force you to accept them. But that's the only way that you can obtain eternal salvation and eternal life through Jesus Christ. Satan offers you hell. So at Judgment Day, it's not Jesus who punishes you. It's because you chose the side of Satan, and that's what Satan offers you, is damnation. So don't blame Jesus if you go to hell. The only person you got to blame is yourself, the person in the mirror that you look at every morning because you ignored all the words of Jesus and all his warnings. With that being said, I thank you all for visiting the Archangel Michael on air show. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow and we'll always be here Monday through Friday, Jesus willing. And I dedicate this show to the one and only Savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated.